Yeah, how you going? Hey, I just wanted to start looking into or showing you a little bit of what we're going to call today step one or stage one of putting together your aliases inside of Odoo or Vuente. So you can just see here, we've got a couple going where we've got Juvente at, at .com and the different project names at .com. So let's just quickly, now, whilst we've built up Fuente to be a lot simpler to use than Odoo itself, um, we've got a couple of little extra features here that you might not typically see in Odoo. So let's just have a quick look here. And So um, I'll call the project, how about we call it, alias um, configuration. Yeah. Now this is going to happen over a few days as we just sort of go step by step as well. And we've got a communication log, and ultimately what we're trying to do here is see the mail thread, so that we're going to be able to keep up with our projects and everything that's happening. We've got our settings, and then we've got the email. So in here, so we're going to call, I might call this um, alias configuration. All right, so anything now coming into the system, yeah, Anything going in or out of the system now under that message will be tagged or flagged back to this system. Now I'm going to just jump across here for the moment. I'm going to come back into our system. I'm going to quickly go across here to settings. Right, so this is all relevant to... Right, we want to have the email. Now we're going to have both in and out going. You might need to be... Um, just going to pause for a moment. Yeah, so I just wanted to, um, I had to sign in as a super user, yeah, or de um, technical user, and I wanted to be able to see our in and outgoing mail service. So we, we needed to have the incoming so that we can start to receive, yeah, but also start to have the different, different emails, we can go in and create here. But we're going to have to have an alias email address. So we might just make this for the moment. Yeah. Um, configuration. Okay, and we we won't we won't actually do that right now. We we'll just sort of wanted to save that, and we can. Whoops, it doesn't look. Maybe I'll just put that one there, and I'll save that. We can always come back or change that a bit later on as well. And we also want to have the outgoing set up as well. Now we also, when you come into um, general settings, you've also got configure, configure for here, oh there it is there, event, alias domain, so ours is sort of alias domain is viewente.com. Okay, so so they're really the, the first core part of what you need to do. Now also, because we're using Google, I'll do that in a uh, separate video, but realistically, those are the three pieces that you need to get at least laid out to start the process off. Alrighty, we'll talk to you on the next one, and um, here's, here's to your success. Bye for now.